Okay, so here I've got an F4V file that was created with the Adobe After Effects. And you can see uh, one of the obvious benefits of having the F4V extension is that Adobe can associate it with uh, Adobe Media Player. Uh, I guess that's useful, um, but it creates some problems for me. Uh, for instance, one of the things I typically like to do is I like to open up uh, my MPEG-4 files in QuickTime and check out um, what the dimensions are and some of the properties about the video. So if I go to do that, you'll notice, uh, well, it's not associated with QuickTime, it's associated with uh, Adobe Media Player. Great, I can deal with that, but QuickTime's not in the short list here. It's like, pff, QuickTime says F4V, pff, I have no idea about that. I don't care, so let's go find the QuickTime player. So we're going to cruise down, we'll find QuickTime, someone in here. Okay, QuickTime throws a fit. It says, hey, this is not a movie file. I don't understand this file format. And you want to say, yeah, okay, so QuickTime's being kind of retarded because about the F4V extension. Maybe that's QuickTime's fault, maybe that's Adobe's fault, but F4V definitely introduces this issue. So what if I go in here and change the file extension to MP4? Well, if I do that, you'll notice that I can change the file extension, double-click on it, QuickTime is associated with MP4 files. I don't really care about the association, but I do care about being able to do things like uh, go up and take a look at the uh, properties of this video. So you can see here, uh, it's very easy for me to ascertain what the width and uh, height of this video are, it's uh, frames per second, it's duration, that type of stuff. So um, that's the problem, is the existing ecosystem is broken here. Essentially F4V locks me into just Flash Player playback or flash ecosystem playback and you know that's unfortunate that's a loss